New York City tycoons push mayor to um, hmm, sick the NYPD on some students. I knew it, and so did you, didn't you? Group of wealthy New York City tycoons pressured Mayor Eric, I'm my own man, Adams, into using police force against student protesters at Columbia University. The Washington Post has the details. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. In a WhatsApp group chat, Populated by some of the richest people in the United States, business executives discuss ways of pressuring Columbia's president and trustees to permit Adams to use New York City Police Department to disperse protesters. Some members said they offered to fund private investigators to support New York Police Department. And offer, they said Adams had accepted, but City Hall denied ever happened. Daily Beast filling in for us. According to the Post, some of the attendees of the meeting with Adams were Kind Snacks founder Daniel Lebetsky. Third point founder Daniel Lowe, billionaire Sir Len Levatnik. And Thor Equities, Joseph Sitt. He's open to any ideas we have, chat member Sitt, founder of retail chain Ashley Stewart. And the global real estate company Thor Equities wrote April 27, the day after the group Zoom call with Adams. As you saw, he's okay if we hire private investigators to then have his police force uh, intel team work with them. That's legal. Is that legal? This is uh, why investigative journalism is so important. Because I watched the cable morning shows. And they had Eric Adams on one week. It seemed like he was on every day. And he was saying things that I didn't, I didn't see in the footage. I didn't see any of it. Okay. The upper crust group chat. I take issue with the name alone, because I know you're not acting upper crust. Initiated by billionaire real estate magnate Barry Sternlich, days after Hamas's deadly incursion into Israel territory. Aim to change the narrative in support of Israel, according to one message. Okay, let's, let's, again, facts matter, the truth matters. Israel was attacked, and the world stood with Israel. That's what happened. And much of the world is still standing with Israel, not Netanyahu, and not mass killing. And driving people away from their homes. Members of the chat include former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz, Dell CEO Michael Dell, Bill Ackman, and Jared Kushner's brother Joshua. Hey, fellas, you got a breach. Fellas, somebody's got your chat. It's too late. I know what's happening. You can make it disappear and all that stuff. You got a breach, fellas. All these billionaires, they got a breach. Talking about a private investigator. They investigate how the chat got out. Chat group formed shortly after the October 7th attack, and its activism has stretched beyond New York, touching the highest levels of the Israeli government, the US business world, and elite universities. Titled Israel Current Events, chat eventually expanded to about 100 members, the chat log shows. More than a dozen members of the group appear on Forbes' annual list of billionaires. Others work in real estate, finance, and communications. Overall, the messages offer a window into how some prominent individuals have wielded their money and power in an effort to shape American views of the Gaza war. Starting to get it now. As well as the actions of academic, business, and political leaders, including New York's, I'm my own man, Eric Adams. Meanwhile, in California, Mike Lee, the president of Sonoma State University, was placed on leave on Wednesday for insubordination after he agreed to pursue divestment strategies and boycott Israeli academic institutions following contentious negotiations with student protesters, according to the Los Angeles Times. Remember, these activist students said, we want you to divest because we don't believe in the policies here, meaning how they're prosecuting the war. 
on Gaza. We also don't agree that Palestinian students are being kept out of our universal university counterparts, not allowed to go to the university in Tel Aviv because they're Palestinian. We don't want our tuition, our donations, any of it going to this. That's what they were asking for. And President Lee said, okay, this has been a difficult negotiation, but I'll do that. President Mike Lee's decision to work with demonstrators instead of violently dispersing them stood among university responses to a recent wave of student protests opposing Israel's deadly military campaign in Gaza. That decision to remove Lee was announced by University Chancellor Mildred Garcia, commended by the California Legislative Jewish Caucus, which said he was unfit to lead. Mike Lee wrote a letter responding to a sudden departure in which he apologized, saying he'd marginalized other members of other student population. Our student population, the LEBs. He wrote, I want to be clear the message was drafted and sent without the approval of or consultation with the chancellor or other system leaders. The points outlined in the message were mine alone, do not represent the views of my colleagues or the CSU. It is unclear how long until Lee is expected to return to his position, though the Sonoma State University website already lists Nathan Evans, the school's previous. Associate Vice Chancellor and Chief of Staff as its interim president. So that's a clue. Jackson, I'll let you weigh in and react to this. Well, first, I want to talk about Bill Aikman because I don't know if you're very familiar with him, but he cracks me up. He was a guy with the kind of the, the, the silver mane on his head, but he's one of those finance bros who thinks that because he has a lot of money, he just knows everything and like everyone should listen to and hear his opinions. Like he's always on CNBC commenting on like, uh, foreign affairs and world events. And he's usually pretty off, but again, he's like, oh, I have so much money through finance. I, he's one of those guys, which is often what happens to most of these people. You know, how disconnect, like how much is this issue really touching you? There's such that kids who are protesting, they're just carrying out their first amendment rights. That's all they're doing. You're putting your resources into stopping this from happening. You could put your resources, and they do put their resources into all other uh, types of things, whether it be encouraging tax cuts, encouraging deregulation of X, Y, and Z, or helping to put uh, certain politicians in office. We're just looking a uh, firsthand look at how this thing really works. But you know, obviously, this is wrong. It goes against what America is supposed to stand for. But really, think about like how comfortable you have to be that, like, oh, I just don't want to see this because that's all that really is. How are these kids impacting your life for real? Y'all are billionaires. You, you, you are not feeling any of this. They just, I don't want to see this when I come home and turn on CNN. That, that's all this is. So, uh, but unfortunately, uh, the government is a big auction in the United States. So again, this is how it works. This is how it goes down. This is how it works. This is how it goes down. Um, I note that you don't seem surprised at all that no. there could be a bunch of rich guys on a chat, some I of the most iconic brands who are dictating to our elected officials and saying, this is how we want the worldview painted. And and some of what they they want is I don't know that it's wrong. You you believe deeply, you're part of a community, you care, so have your voice be heard. But I don't know why you're doing it behind the scenes, hiding behind stacks of money, billions of dollars instead of getting out there like the students do in plain view and saying, this is what we're fighting for. I don't know why you're, why you're doing that, okay? And Eric Adams, I find his behavior fraudulent. And I need the woman who was on the breakfast club with him the other right, <laughs> well, right, few weeks exactly. ago. I need her to comment <laughs> on this. So let's, let's, let's uh, monitor her social feed because I'm sure she tried to warn us, okay? And she took him oh, to yeah, task, definitely. okay? He's, he's looking for the exit. This is a small studio. And he couldn't get out of it. 